Hi, good morning. Today from the Rumi um, Oracle Guidebook, we are going to read number eight, which is Cosmic Heart. That's what it looks like. It's a very beautiful card for me personally. <laughs> I think it's very pretty. I like the colors in it. Okay, Cosmic Heart. I was dead. I became alive. I was tears. I became laughter. The power of love arrived and made me everlasting power. I have seen everything. I have no fear. I have the heart of a lion. I shine like Venus, Rumi. I hear it and weep. In sublime reverence, I bow to this living, beating, loving heart of the universe. It echoes throughout all of creation. Once, some time ago, I was deaf. I had not heard one true sound. Much noise, but no truth. Then, in a moment of crisis that cracked my heart open, I was given a gift. Though I felt fear and confusion, a gift came to me, more powerful than those temporary ailments. That gift was the ability to hear the sound hidden beneath all of life. I heard it that sacred sound of the beating heart of universal love. Now I know that belief in unworthy things like fear and doubt is lunacy. Even my loneliness became unconvincing to me. We are animated by this living heartbeat, part of life that is sustained by it. You and I, the planets, the birds and the fish emerge from the great source because of this beating heart of the universe. It pumps life through our veins. What proof of this is needed? You live. That is the proof. I hear it everywhere now. It has become so loud. Louder than any word of fear. It resonates through my soul and eclipses any tremor of anxiety. There is a time on the journey of love when the beloved, that would be you and me, sweet soul, is prepared to engage more completely with the heart of the divine lover. The preparation will be a rich process, spiritually speaking. It may also feel like being beaten, pummeled, simmered and stirred in the pot of the divine master chef to become a sacred and savory meal fit for the most heavenly of feasts. This is a courageous and bold process, one that will create the most delicious aromas in the soul, and yet it is one that will likely take us right to the places we would rather avoid places of confrontation with pain, but where the loss of its grip on our being no longer lets us quake and retreat from life in fear or uncertainty. You have been through these tantalizing trials, the push to surrender fear, the realization your attempts at control amount to not so much, actually. So why not abandon them altogether? The trials have asked you to confront every part of your being that holds itself back in resistance to what is, in resistance to what life presents at this very moment. You have been asked to become comfortable with the possible discomfort of not knowing and to understand you don't have to understand anything for life to work out with perfect perfect synchronicity and generous grace. 
You have been asked to bear darkness without losing hope for the return of the light. You have been asked to trust in your own heart wisdom when your mind was terrorized by nightmares and hallucinations of fear. They were so powerful, you were certain they must be real, that you must be crazy not to run and hide somehow, somewhere. And yet, here you are, still loving, still wise, and ready for a love bigger than you have ever experienced before. So we step forward together, you and I. I link my arm through yours and I urge you on. Let us run together and jump over the edge. No more half living in any way for you and me. We will weep crystal clear tears and we will laugh with such joy that stars will burst forth born upon our exhilarations. We will hear the beating of the cosmic heart pounding in our ears and how we shall dance to it. That sacred intoxicating rhythm moves hips and hands and hearts, raising the soul from slumber. But that heart does not beat so loud. It can be startling to the parts of you unused to such wild, unconditional affection of rowdy playfulness. You may worry that this great love is not going to be careful enough with you. What if you get tossed around in the great oceans of love? You will surely be disoriented and become lost to the world once you once knew. How then will you know where to go? Fear not, my soulmate. Love has its wisdom and its way. We shall become lost in its genius together. Whilst our minds are tipped this way and that, tumbled in love's great waves, we shall be forced to surrender our useless intelligence and become mindless. Then, how easy it shall become for the perfection of love to guide us, for there shall be nothing within to question and resist. We will no longer have to find the way, for we will have become the way. This oracle comes to you with special guidance for you. More love is rushing towards you like a great cosmic tsunami. You will struggle with this blessing to the extent that you'll attempt to hold on to what has been. So don't. Let go. Let it move you. You'll perhaps get some water up your nose, but nothing will come to you that you cannot handle. You'll be disheveled somewhat, undoubtedly. Yet as you are washed upon love's shining shore, keeping every hair in place, will be the last thing on your mind. You'll be too caught up in the wonder of perfection, realizing how deeply loved you are and how unnecessary it is to contrive a way to live your purpose. Instead, you'll have no idea what is going on. You'll be surrendered in passionate embrace with life simply being your exquisite, crazy, unique self, saturated with divine love. It'll drip from you, out of your feet, your eyes, your voice, your touch. You'll water the earth with love's oceanic presence. Oh, how that tsunami will deliver you into your divine destiny. No need for any contrivance, contrivance, let your hair get messed up. Your destiny awaits you now. <laughs> Forgive my reading. Okay, but here's the sacred honoring ritual. Place your hands on your stomach and the other over your heart. Focus on your breath, flowing gently in and out. When you are ready, 
say the following aloud. Rumi, who loves me unconditionally, with all the wild love and unconditional affection of the universal heart, help me now. I trust in my own heart wisdom and in the truth of your love for me. Please help me trust in the flow of life. Let go of my fixed plans and ideas and open up to the genius of love itself. May I realize that my destiny will unfold with, the absolute, with absolute perfection and I may trust in the signs I am given. May I be able to release any false guidance based in fear and may I open up instead to genuine guidance and inner knowing based in love. Under the grace of your protection, may this be so. Feel the warmth of your hands on your body. Just breathe. When you are ready, simply place your hands in prayer position and bow your head gently to your hands. This is your simple and powerful action that reminds you of this truth. Your head is supposed to bow to and honor the heart, not to try to dominate or control it. You have completed your sacred honoring ritual. Love and blessings.